thought that God uses certain people in your life or uses certain situations that happen to you as a way of teaching you a lesson, uh, of using that as an opportunity to make you into the person God knows that you can be, a person who is bigger and stronger and more faithful than you were perhaps before you met this challenging person or faced a challenging situation. At St. Mark's, uh, we have folks who visit us. I know I spoke to you a few weeks ago about folks who interrupt your life and challenge you to be better. People who show up at the door of the office and uh, ask us things and, and demand from us things that you know are sometimes frustrating for us to handle. One of those characters is named John Addison. John is a, an Anglican, as he reminds us, who grew up in Cape Town, South Africa, singing in the boys' choir in the cathedral there. And John has been living on the streets in Palm Beach Gardens and, uh, you know, Lake Park and probably Riviera Beach for a long time, at least nine years. I've known him since coming down here to St. Mark's to serve. John visits, oftentimes coming over from the hospital where he spent a night in the emergency room, uh, having been picked up by the police, probably intoxicated, goes over to the emergency room, kind of dries out, comes out, comes right over here looking for a bus pass or a food card from Publix uh, or some kind of assistance. And uh, it can sometimes be frustrating and we never quite can solve his problems, but John is a friend of St. Mark's and as many times as he comes to the church office, he really is part of our community. And, and while he's frustrating, we also give God thanks for his presence in our lives. And what I admire about John is his persistence. This week in the Gospel readings, Jesus teaches us about being persistent, and he encourages us to be persistent with God in our prayers, to go to God and ask what we want, to keep knocking on that door, to keep going after God, articulating our needs. And when I read that scripture for the weekend, I thought of John Addison. And I thought, there's a man who is persistent. He keeps coming back to this office looking for more. And while it can be frustrating, it can also tell us and teach us how to be persistent in our relationship with God. So don't ever give up on God. Keep going at God with all of your prayers, with all of your might, with all of your wants, with all of your demands, because God invites us to that kind of persistence. Because maybe it isn't so much that we change God, but in that persistent asking, we change ourselves. I'll see you Sunday.